Does this not look quite right to you? Do you think it should look a little bit more like this? Well, it should look exactly like this. We're talking about why there are no stars in the Apollo images today on Vintage Space. So let's begin by stating the obvious. Apollo astronauts flew to the moon before there were digital cameras, and so the pictures they took on the lunar surface were taken with film. So that means we also have to know just a little bit about how film exposure works. Film, put simply, is a light-sensitive emulsion over plastic. When that plastic is exposed to light, it chemically changes the emulsion and gives you a negative of whatever you photographed on that film. Once that film is exposed to chemicals and developed in a darkroom, it gives you a negative that can be used to create a photograph of whatever it is that you took. Now, it's the moment of light striking the film that we're really interested in here because there's a couple things to consider. One is the f-stop or the aperture. The more open the aperture of the camera is, the more light is allowed to come in. The more close it is, the less light comes in. Another factor is the shutter speed, the length of time that the shutter is open exposing the film to the light. A faster shutter speed means less light is hitting the film, and a longer shutter speed means more light can hit the film. A good photographer will consider his surroundings before choosing the shutter speed and aperture for a photograph. Generally, if he is in a brighter area, he might pick a faster shutter speed and a smaller aperture, because otherwise there could be too much light coming in through the camera lens, striking the film and overexposing the image, meaning that you wouldn't really see much of anything. On the other hand, if the object he's photographing is quite dim, he might consider a longer exposure time to allow more light bouncing off that image to go through the camera lens and strike the film. But what if he's photographing two things at the same time, one that's very bright or reflective and one that's very dim or not reflective at all? Well, if he tries to leave the shutter open long enough to get the light from the dimmer object, ultimately it's just going to be that the brighter object is overexposing the film. There's going to be too much light coming in from the brighter object, you're not going to be able to see the dimmer object anyways. So he might be better off trying to focus on the brighter object to at least get one in the image as opposed to just a very blown out picture. This is exactly what Apollo astronauts did on the moon. They photographed the brighter thing to get the detail that it has, namely the moon and not the stars in the sky. The moon has an albedo of 0.12, or it reflects 12% of the light that strikes it. Now that might not seem very bright. There are certainly brighter objects in the solar system, not to mention stars that generate their own light. But when you're standing on the surface of the moon and that reflected sunlight is bouncing back up into your camera, it is way too powerful, such that you can't actually photograph the moon and the distant stars off over the horizon. This is exactly why you don't see stars in Apollo images taken on the moon. The camera was set for the settings on the moon's surface, namely a very bright object, not to see distant stars. But there are some Apollo images in which you can see the stars, namely this one from Apollo 16. Here we have a long exposure photograph of the Earth in UV light. This was a 40 second exposure and you can see that the Earth is completely blown out. It is just a giant white blob but you can also see stars. Because the exposure was long enough to allow the light from those distant stars to hit the film in the camera. Another example of this is in this image from Apollo 14. We see this detail of the lunar module and you can't really see much else. Even the photograph itself is quite dim. But if you zoom in and enhance, you can actually see Venus very, very faintly. Now we know that Venus is super bright. You can see it from Earth without binoculars really easily, but it's so dim in this picture with a bit of the lunar module in it because the lunar module is so bright, it's obscuring Venus, almost. So who out there is still going to say that the lack of stars in Apollo images means we didn't land on the moon? Because we did land on the moon. <laughs>